Hey guys, Jam here, and welcome back to another Community Army collab kit bash. It's a bit of a long title, but yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be kit bashing Damien Pedley. So hopefully, I've said your name right there, man. And this is a pretty special one, actually, because when I was thinking about this whole Community Army thing and kit bashing all the Marines and trying to get them into a functional army, obviously, I went to Death Watch. And when looking at Death Watch and Primaris and all that stuff, I just happened upon Damien Pedley's work. Because if you guys do know him at all, or if you go check his Instagram and stuff, he's got an absolutely phenomenal Death Watch army. I think it's mostly Primaris. I mean, he's an absolutely amazing painter, and his kit bashing work is just as good. So that actually makes this video a little bit intimidating, to be perfectly honest, because he's way above my level, and so it's kind of weird I'm making a model of him kit bashing and stuff like that, and eventually paying it up into my army. But hey, I mean, this whole point of this whole series is to push me out of my comfort zones and try new things and see what people suggest and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, Damon's a pretty big inspiration for this army. Like I said, he's a great painter, great kit basher and all that stuff. So go check his stuff out. But I'm going to stop yapping and let's see what he says and what's he, what he wants me to do for this video. And I'll see you on the other side. So cheers to the offer, man. Um, much appreciate it. I thought long and hard about it. And um, Pakak here has, uh, has added his little bit of um, input. And although we thought that maybe it should be Space Wolves because I look a little bit like one and he's a wolf, um, it's got to be Black Templars. So uh, let me see what you can do. And there we have it. The challenge has been set and today we're doing a Black Templar, which I'm sure you guys would have seen in the thumbnail by now anyway. And <laughs> yeah, unfortunately Damien didn't pick a Space Wolf because obviously that's a bit more my wheelhouse and I really suck at doing green stuff, robes and all that kind of stuff like that, but we're going to give it a shot today. And obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, because this is Damien Pedley and everything, and this is not my wheelhouse, slightly nervous about it, but we'll see how it turns out. So yeah, this guy over here is just going to be a intercessor sergeant because, you know, not everybody can be a hero or a HQ unit and this has to be a functioning army one day. So these are the bits I'm going to be using today. Nothing too fancy. The robe's going to be the main part and definitely the most difficult one as well. Well, I don't know if you'd call it a robe. I see a lot of people call it a tabard, but apparently it's not a tabard. So, so yeah, if you know what it's actually called, uh, leave it in the comments below. Or maybe I should go watch some Shadowversity videos or something. But anyway, first thing we're going to do is the robe, like I said, and let's get cracking. So I've got my all the green stuff ready here. I just went 50-50 with the yellow and blue, nothing too fancy there. And as always, make sure your hands and your surface and your tools and everything are wet while you're working with it. And as I stated before, and if you've watched any of my videos, I'm a Space Wolves player, so robes and stuff like this are not something I've done too much, so I'm going to be winging a lot of this right now. So all I'm doing at this step here is I'm using my hobby knife like a rolling pin, just kind of flattening it out, getting it ready to, well, be the cloth that I need and getting it into shape. Obviously, you don't want to go too thin and, as always, just make sure you got water on it so it doesn't stick. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the rough shape that I think I'm going to need. So I'm going to cut out like around the neck area like this. Then I'm just going to cut down the sides. And it's probably not going to be the right shape, but we're just going to kind of do a dry fit and we can always cut more way when we need to. Then try and be gentle while lifting it up, unlike I'm doing here, but we can still smooth it out later so it should be fine. And as you can see, giving it a bit of a dry fit here, you can see it's almost pretty much spot on the right shape and everything we need. Obviously we're going to cut the bottom off so it kind of tucks into the belt. So yeah, not too bad for the first go. Now usually at this point I'll put a bit of super glue down just to make sure it holds it in place while I'm working with it. But like I said before, ropes are not my forte and I don't want to make a mistake and then it's stuck there. So I'm just going to try and do it without. So I'm going to be using a kind of damp old paintbrush here to kind of get it into shape and push it where I want to because any sort of hard tools you're obviously going to make marks and stuff and with it being a cloth and a robe you, you want to keep that kind of smooth thing until later when you want to start adding in the folds and yeah of course Damon if you are watching this feel free to give me some tips and tricks on how to do this because I think you've done it a lot more than me and yeah that would be pretty sweet so at this point I kind of thought the green stuff seemed a bit too thick so I'm going to roll it out and then cut some of the sides off because obviously it gets a bit too wide after that. And there we go. I feel like that's a much better fit. Now we just got to get it back into position again. Yeah, and the wet paintbrush seems to be doing a pretty good trick so far. So I've got it into the position that I want. I'm going to cut the bottom off so it tucks into the belt a bit more. And then I'm going to get cracking with doing the bottom half. So yeah, I'm just using my hobby knife here just to tuck it in a little bit. But obviously later when we add the fold and stuff in we'll we'll work it out a little bit better and yeah that's not looking too bad so far let's get cracking with the bottom half Alrighty, so the same thing as before really 
what we're going to do is roll it out nice and smooth and then I'm going to cut it into a rectangle. Yeah, that size looks pretty bang on, so let's just get it on there. And once again, just use your wet paintbrush to get it into the rough shape that you need it. Also, I probably haven't used the right model for this because he's got like those inbuilt trinkets and stuff that I'm just kind of covering up. But yeah, if you're using a normal Primaris Marine, you shouldn't have that problem. So that's roughly the kind of shape I'm going to be going for. Now it's time to kind of tuck everything in, create the folds, and hopefully not ruin it. So firstly, I'm going to be tucking it into the belt at the like the, well, around the belt area. And I'm just going to use my hobby knife for that, trying not to ruin the detail too much. Now I'm just whipping out my toothpick and I'm just adding in some like folds around there, going back and forth. Obviously, like I'll tear some folds. If I don't like, I'll smooth it out later with a paintbrush again. And the toothpick's pretty sweet anyway, if you just want to use that for the tucking in instead of your hobby knife as well. And also because when you cut the green stuff, you obviously leave behind this really harsh, rigid line. So I like to kind of just smooth off the edges so it looks a bit more natural and as always because we're so low rent around here I don't actually have any sculpting tools yet so I usually just use a back of a paintbrush or something like that and just start gently pushing in the, the kind of shapes and folds that we want but yeah anything with a kind of soft rounded edge would help do this part you just don't want anything that's too kind of square and rigid and obviously we've got to keep this area kind of tucked in because that's where it might look like it's pinned in or something like that and once the shoulder pads and all that kind of stuff is on you're not really going to see it much anyway and yeah that's pretty much all i'm going to be doing at this stage is just Adding in like the big main kind of crease and stuff where I want them to go, just making it look a bit more like cloth. And also remember when you paint and you can add a lot of texture through that as well. All right, so now comes the fun part. Now that we've got our general shapes, what I'm doing is I'm getting a damp toothpick. I'm not using the point, I'm just kind of using the, the flat end and then I'm going to start pressing it in and moving it along and just getting some nice, really detailed deeper creases in there and then for the bottom where we want to get those kind of smaller creases in there you just want to use the same kind of technique but maybe using a bit more of the point and just kind of gently pressing it in just imagine how a t-shirt looks when tucked into a belt so yeah hopefully you can see that there we're basically just getting some nice deep lines where we can highlight a shake and settle in and all that kind of stuff and then what i'm also going to do is around this collar area I'm just going to pull it out a little bit so it looks like it's a bit more dynamic and maybe blowing in the wind. And then of course when you're done getting all the creases and folds that you want, just go back to your damp paintbrush and smooth it all out. Just don't push too hard and get rid of all the details that you've already been working on. So yeah, I'm just going to refine this a little bit, do the same thing to the bottom part and then we're pretty much done. All right, and then we have the tabity thing done. Now I actually had this finished quite a while ago, but I did the old classic thing of you know, always trying to make it a little bit better than end up like ruining it and having to like redo everything again. So yeah, not the cleanest work ever, but I think it'll do. Especially for, I think maybe my second or third ever attempt at this kind of stuff. Got a bit of movement in there, so it's looking a bit more dynamic. And yeah, that's the main part of this model done then. Now pretty much just to glue the rest of it together. And I almost completely forgot that, you know, Black Templars gotta have some chains in their weapons. So let's get on that. So I've done this kind of stuff on videos before. Basically just want to get a dollop of super glue where you want your chain to begin. So like here on the grip of this gun, drop your chain link in there, wait for the super glue to dry so it holds it in place. And then you can start wrapping the chain around where you want it to go. And here I've done a kind of a test wrapping, just trying to see where I want the chain to go. You know, just got it a couple times around the rifle, make sure it's nice and tight then all you want to do is get the chain back to the other link if that's where you want to stop it kind of mark out where you want to do it snip it off with clippers and then just glue it there so it looks like it's all linked up now all you've got to do is to make sure your chains aren't loose and dangling around is dip a toothpick in some super glue and just kind of dab it a lot run it along the links and stuff like that and obviously get some on the gun so it sticks to the gun hardens the links up nothing's going to be moving around when you paint now i'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the sword and get back to you guys and there we have it. We've got the chains on there all linked up and ready to go. Now the head that I've used there is just a Primaris head that I've previously done some green stuff beard and hair work on it. I've done a video on that before so if you want to check that out. I just found that one in my bits box and I thought you know what this one looks kind of Damien Pedley-ish. It's got the beard all that kind of stuff and I feel like it's a good mix between a Black Templar and a Space Wolf. And obviously as you can see here I've got some misting and stuff on the super glue on the chains but once you're primed and painting you won't see that stuff anymore. And obviously as you can see I've chucked the shoulder pad on there and everything because you know he's going to be part of the Death Watch. Got the pose in a relatively decent kind of point. I might chuck on a purity seal or two here and there but we'll see when I cut to the actual showcase of this model.
So yeah, apart from needing to learn a little bit more of the whole greed stuff rope thing, the whole black templar thing is pretty simple and easy to do. So hopefully you guys have picked up some tricks and tips here if you want to go forth and make your own kind of primaris or any sort of black templar army. And once again, I'd like to say a massive thanks to Damien Pedley in taking part in this. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm really, really looking forward to starting to paint up this whole army. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And if you haven't subscribed yet, which you probably haven't because a lot of my views are not from subscribers, then maybe check out my channel and subscribe because I release hobby content like this every single week. And as usual, I've got the whole Patreon and merch store thing if you guys want to help keep my bits box full. But until the next video, guys, bye-bye.